is Sabrina, or better known as Beefcake Brina. She's a figure competitor, owner of Vanguard Supplements, queen of the chicken wing pose, but that's not all. She's one of TikTok's favorite no BS fitness coaches. What does that mean exactly? Well, she calls out the BS in the fitness industry daily. This has led to her TikTok account blowing up and having diehard fans. And maybe a few accounts have blocked her along the way. But today, she's gonna be taking me through her back and bicep workout, so get ready. also my pre-workout too, so this is an homage to my Latin culture. I made a mango nada pre-workout that is scientifically backed, clinically dosed, and it's my favorite thing in the world. Call me biased because I'm the one who created it, but I absolutely love it. All right, so we're gonna get a good scoop of this. Woo. Meanwhile, Julia drinks the fake shit. So really here, we're not we're not really getting into trying to build strength, trying to build, a, or whatever, hyper, whatever your goal is. We're not getting into our working sets. This is just a flow set. We're just feeling through it. We're going through the range of motion. <sighs> Looks nice and toasty. Roasting it's and a a toasting. Toasty. Till we go outside. Till we go outside, then we literally boil like an egg. Well, when is it not here? I'm gonna be honest. Literally. Yeah. Brings it down. She's like, sorry, little one. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, you essentially already got it. I feel like I'm not even gonna have to like, you got it, you got it. It's just like, I don't mind training upper body because for my category, I don't need to. That's fair. Which you're probably the opposite. Yeah, I'm literally the opposite. I cannot do legs too much or I will be too bottom heavy. I can't do arms too much or my, my arms will get too big for the category. And I have to do arms and shoulders more yes. because of my category. Yes. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. That's why I love training with figure competitors because we're literally, usually our training is opposite. Like yeah. the priorities are usually flipped. Uh huh. That's why I'm like, I love learning from other people. Yeah. Because I know a lot about like training from the hips down. Right, right. And it's just that you train with the upper body so much that you know what works for you, what doesn't work, yeah. like things that I don't really try. Yeah, no, and that's, Which is that's, cool. that's very fair. I mean, I would even love to run through a leg day with you just to see how brutal your when leg When you're is feeling on. better? Yeah, I got when you. I'm feeling we'll better, do it for again. sure. Um, so for the next set, let's go ahead and grab like the end so that way you can get that full range of motion oh, okay. and bring it apart. Whew. This is literally like, like a very, very light. Yeah. Okay, cool, thank you. Yeah, so let's grab here. I'm happy now. Yeah. Oh, I like using this way more. Right, right. So now the range of motion here is just, it's just, we have a lot more range of motion. Definitely. Um, wow. I don't have a lot of range of motion because my body parts are very small. Right, no, no, no. That's All right, I'm good on two sets. Honestly, okay. that was a good, I, that feels I feel good. great. Now we're going to move outside into the heat. Uh, 100 You're degrees. Killing me. Yeah, so I'm going to die. You're killing You're me, die. Smalls. I'm gonna die. You know, Mr. Cameraman's gonna You're die. You're gonna die. <laughs> he was sweating so much Your yesterday. Your jeans right now, I feel bad for you. Does not matter, we're, we're getting this out of the way. No seating. We're gonna do a single arm. We're gonna grab, not up here, but we're gonna grab down here. More lap focus. And we're not gonna go super far back, so we wanna stay in the active range of motion. So don't worry about trying to get your elbow farther than your torso. You can stop right here. And then when you come down, Basically, you don't want to like rack the weight back right, so yeah. that you like, lose we're the not connection. Throw, yeah, we're not throwing it. Same thing with the other arm. Uh, I'm going to use wrist straps. I'll probably give you mine so you can use it too. I highly recommend using wrist straps. I have um, grips. Okay. I love using that, grips. Yeah, yeah. I can't figure out for the life of me how to use the the string the, ones. Yeah. Every time I get them, I'm like, how do you? I need the dummy ones. <laughs> That's fine. We're not going to. 
We're not going to a failure on that. It's, it's more like an RPE like eight because our hard working sets are going to be start are going to start set two. It's going to be set three and set four. Okay. So we're going to have three hard working sets. The first is the feeder set. So let's build ourselves up to it. I think a lot of people say uh, that uh, when you use wrist straps on machines that it makes you a pussy. But why would you not want to get the most? Mine is work door? smarter, not harder. Yeah, work smarter, <laughs> not harder. I'm so sick of these people who are like, why are you using a belt? Why are you using wrist straps? Like, why not? Why not? I have, I I don't do an upper body day without them. I, I wrote, I don't. Me neither. Gym Reapers, Code Julia Renee. All right, again, not super heavy set. This is just gonna be a theater set. I'm gonna grab midway down. Like a, just the tiniest bit of like help. Okay. Just the tiniest bit of help. Okay. Yeah. Like I mentioned to Julia earlier before, we're gonna focus on three to five minutes rest breaks in between these working sets today. We only need two giant exercises today to really good, good, effective working. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna use this as chest support with grab here, and then I'm gonna have her help me all the way up. Three, two, one. Oh wait, I forgot to put on my belt. <laughs> I, had sur I literally had surgery on Monday and I'm supposed to take a week off from starting this activity. I can't really do legs. I'm not going to get too into it, but upper body I'm fine on. And so this is my first time back and uh, it's going all right. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Ready? I'm going to try and match it. Three, two, one. And go. Yep. All you. All Three. you. <laughs> Four. <laughs> two more. Only two more. Bye. Last one. Give it all you got. Come on. Last one. Yeah. Mother. Okay. So that was definitely an RPE like nine. We gotta watch our time. I'm gonna wait another minute or two. I wasn't timing that one, but three to five minutes. That's one thing that I struggle with is uh, resting. Yeah. And I don't like being on my phone at the gym either. Um, unless like I have to film like a video or something, but usually right. I bring him with me. But it's like, okay, I don't wanna be on my phone, but I need to force myself to rest. And then I get like too excited. I'm like, yeah. let's just go again. You would be surprised how much more efficiently you perform when you really rest. Yeah. When you really, really rest. Especially on my leg days. Like yeah. if I if I rest two minutes, that's usually like good for me. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, okay, it's been 30 seconds, so still rest. Yeah, you almost like want to go. Yeah. I just get too excited. No, I get it. I'm gonna ask you one of the questions. Okay. Let's see what people wanted to know. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous. First question: Are you single, and can I have a chance with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am not single. Uh, I currently have a boyfriend. We're coming up on a year. Uh, so yeah, that's a that's a no go for me. <laughs> that's a no go. Thanks, but nah nah. <laughs> Thank you, but nah. But nah. Okay, I'll save these other ones for later. Again, yeah, right there. It's like eight. Oh yeah, you get you get out real quick. I'm sure. In and out, forty minutes. Three, two, two one. one. Strong, come on. Again, again, come on. Yeah. Jack Nation. Yep. Come on, good. Two. There you go. There you go. What the hell? Come on. Three. Come on. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Okay, wait, 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 I want another 
question because I'm curious. Yes. I'm curious. I want to see. Rest time. Okay, let's say. If you could tell your younger gym newbie self one thing, what it would it be? Oh no, because I'm like I'm already getting emotional. What? Uh, I hate those questions. You. Um, to be nice to yourself. God damn yeah, it. Yeah, I would say that like more just like a, I'm proud of you. Um. I very clearly dealt with, like, obviously you can see my face, but I very clearly dealt with a lot growing up. It's like being bullied, like, consistently. Um, and then I developed an eating disorder because of it. And I know you've had one, so you feel that. I feel that. Um, so I've had two medically diagnosed eating disorders. And that was the worst time of my life. Like, I was trigger warning. I was, like, also suicidal, like, just, like, depressed, anxious, just like constantly, just like throwing myself under the bus. And if I had to tell myself one thing is like, just I'm proud of you, that's it. Like just keep going, cause you're gonna make it. And, and you made yeah. it, bitch! Ah, and we you made, made it. it! So yeah, fuck, I didn't mean to get emotional, but yeah. No, it's good. That means um, that like, it means I could tell that it, everything that you've achieved, you're grateful for it, you practice gratitude daily yeah. and you, you deserve it. Thank you. You've worked for it and you deserve it. I and you deserve it. much more and I can't see what else you're gonna do. I can't wait. I, yeah, who knows? It's just the beginning. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 25. Yeah. yeah. I'm 26. Yeah. We're getting old. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The 37 year old uh, over here is yeah, like, shut yeah, up. What are you talking about? You're still in your 20s. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I'm very grateful for where I'm at today. I feel like a lot of people don't see where I came from on social media. TikTok is very of a, like, you always see, like, Beefcake Brina, who is a very aggressive, blunt persona, and the people who know my story know, and they understand why. Um, Have you recently made any videos for, like, all the new followers about, like, where no, you are, where you came from? And I should, and I should. Yeah, because yeah. I try to make my page not about me, I try to make it about educating other people, but you're right, you know, maybe that story could re-inspire. Yes, you can get yeah. a whole new audience that sees you as like Beefcake Brina, like the no yeah. BS fitness coach, but like I wasn't always this confident. I wasn't right. always like this eager to be posting on social media right? because I wasn't right. like what's this is literally the last thing that I thought I would ever do with my life. Oh, yeah. Ever. We, I, I think we never ever guessed that we would do this. Like this is our job. This is our life, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah, like I'm working right now. Yeah, we're, we're working. working right now. It's weird. <laughs> it's Friday it's at Friday. 1 p.m. and we're in the gym working and I getting know. our workout in. I know it's and weird. Out. Look at us. I love my job. What does Ronnie Coleman say? Uh, Lightweight, baby. Lightweight, baby. Uh, Lightweight, baby. Uh, Lightweight, baby. Uh, Lightweight, baby. Out. You're seeing a little bit of stars. It's okay. Just hold on to something so you don't fall over. Sure, all of you. Nice. <sighs> Let's go. I am CA. You're like dancing and I'm dying. I know she's dying. I'm like. I think you're a lot stronger than you think. Come on. Uh, Good. Come on. Here. No. I did the extra weight. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, exactly. That's the placebo effect. Is it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you fake, yeah, yeah, you fake yourself out? Go. Five. Hold on. <laughs> you got it? Okay, come on. I got you. Go, go, go. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh. so now we've officially done last. We're moving into our upper back movement, and this is our heavy upper back movement. And then we will be moving into a more reared out focus movement, which is the crossover table extension. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, and I'm telling you, that's all we need. That's all oh, we need. Oh, God. We are obliterating ourselves. All right, let me move this. Watch me do this uh, back workout for the next month because. I love it's it. It's great. <laughs> I, it's efficient too. All right, so this is total movement number three, big movement number two. We are now focusing on our upper back. So we're gonna do a uh, high row. And anytime you do a high row or an upper back movement, 
rowing, you want to have your elbows a little bit more flared. That way we can now target a bit more of the lower, or upper back and not the less, or lower back. So this is a chest supported T-bar high row. So I moved it to my height. The foot placement is great for me. Uh, when we go back and forth between Julie and I, we're definitely going to have to move the handlebars and the foot placement. I wonder um, why. But this is essentially what sure. the movement looks like. So we're going to start down here. And again, keeping the elbows flared. Think of it as a 45 degree angle. We don't want to flare it oh, at a 90 degree. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 45 degrees. Now we're in line with our fibers. All right. If you, you say so. so. Yeah, you don't want to overextend either. So you can get a good solid stretch at the bottom. That's fine. Again, we don't want to. Okay. Overextend. Uh, I'm also using a belt for this. Let's stack on just a 45 pound plate. So typically, even though this is chest supported, I still like to wear a belt. That way I can just focus, you know, focus on my bracing a little bit more. I have something to brace against. And then now I'm not hyper extending my back at the top of the rep. So it's more of a, more of a cue. You don't need the belt. Do you have a YouTube channel? Nope. And I should. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Hurts. I'm trying not to bring my elbows in because I really want to bring my elbows into my torso, but I have to keep flared. There you go. My T Rex arms. Oh, have you seen that movie? It's like the Robin, Meet the yes, Robinsons. Yes. I have a big head and little arms. That's perfect. If there was an in between hole, I would definitely go for the in between, but honestly, this is pretty good here. Nice. Keep those elbows flared. Don't let them fall back. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Come on. Started to come in. So then we're like using our lat a little bit more. Oh, I was going like the... this. Yeah. Okay. So we definitely, I may come behind you. That's and just, a like, no no. Push your elbows. Fix your fucking elbows, Julia. All right. Right. Another one. Let's see it. Another one. Another one. Nothing. Tell her I love her and my favorite workouts are working out. Well, my favorite workout people are working out together. Aww, love that. I did a, I did a fist. This is on backwards. This is in a weird spot. Okay, we'll <laughs> save this last one for later. Cool. Yes. All right. So I'm too lazy to move the foot platform, so I'm literally just gonna. I have moved my knees. it down. Oh, did you? I did. I just don't think it's down enough. I can move it for you. I can. Sure, sure, I sure. I do sure. for you. Like one notch. I think that might be good. Let me know. Fucking Jack, man. Ah! Huge. Just... <laughs> You're about to fly away with those, lady. <laughs> She's like, bye. <laughs> I'm a full 767 passenger plane, bitch. Damn. <laughs> Maybe even a 747, which in plain terms, that's the biggest plane there is, the 747s. 747. <laughs> <Four seven. laughs> Nobody's a, gonna get that I'm a pilot. motherfucking plane, bitch. <laughs> See those elbows start to come in. I'm gonna go knock your elbows. There you go. There you go. Keep it flared. Yeah. Flare the elbows. Go. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Oh, okay. I like. That's it. So you're, we're still all in here. There you go. Awesome. There you go. You can, you can come a little bit lower on the X. There you go. Yeah, think of 45. There you go. That's it. Think of 45 degree angle. There you go. your wrists up like really squeezing like Lip that wrist, yeah I'm not flexing the wrist because now I'm giving my biceps a little less work so we want to keep all that work in the biceps so I always tell people limp wrist limp wrist and you don't have to stand super far forward either this is enough
It doesn't feel any lighter, does it? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, good. All right. Owie. That was great. Last question. What? Oh. That's a good oh, one. the last question was, I remember it. Why did you start coaching? I, wait, hold on, because I have many reasons for that. I think I wanted to be a different standard in the industry. Um, I think it's very easy for coaches to, or for people to become coaches. Um, the fitness industry really isn't regulated. So we have a lot of people who say like, oh, I lost 50 plus pounds, I'm coach now. Um, which we all know that like, you need a little bit more than to lose weight to be able to coach people. Or they do one prep, right? And then they start coaching when they're not quite qualified. Or even just with the basic certification, there's a lot missing within certifications, um, you know, to be a good, qualified coach so I think I wanted to set a little bit different of a standard a higher standard in the industry um, so that's how it kind of came about with the no bullshit persona so I got my certification and then I decided to go to school for it so I got a BS in kinesiology I want to go back for my master's and actually conduct research so my name can be on research papers that that's so, so cool. cool and then I'm going to get my CSCS certification soon and then eventually get a PN1 and a PN2 which is a separate nutrition certification so I just I love education and I like to provide quality to my clients. So I wanted to be a, a newer, you know, I wanted to set the bar high. Yeah. And that's kind of why I started doing it. And I love like being a part of someone's journey. Like there's nothing more fulfilling to me than having people be coached by me for a short period of time and then being able to walk away not needing me anymore, which seems yes. a little backwards. Yes. But um, I'm very much of a person who's like, I like my clients to be with me for like as long as you need to be with me. But then, once you're ready, I want you to do it on your own. Because yeah. then you know that you've taught them enough so that they can go out and feel confident right. to do it on their yeah. own. So nobody, you don't want to have a coach forever. Exactly. You know what I mean? I yeah. mean, that's, they're not doing their job then. Right. And my goal is to be the last coach they'll, they'll ever need. And I love it when people like years later come back and they're like, I'm a coach now, I'm a bodybuilder now, or they're like doing something crazy. Like their success story is like, they've just like shot through the roof. And to be a part of their like journey along the way up what is just like, I love being a part of that. And I don't have to receive any credit for that. Like I just love being in the background and then letting them just like take off. Do their thing. Yeah, so. Let them fly yeah. away with their new yeah, lats. Let them fly away with the new lats. <laughs> with the new lats that you've given them. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being yeah. in this video. I'm gonna be sore forever. I, I wanna um, hear it tomorrow. I wanna hear that um, text. My bicep still hurt. <laughs> I'll put all of her stuff down below, please. Please follow her. Also, um, DM her to start a podcast slash a YouTube channel because people need to hear from you, all your education, just your story is incredible. So please follow along with her journey and thank you for killing me. Uh, it was thank great. You. Thank Love you. That. Oh. Ow. I'm gonna be driving home and my biceps are yeah. gonna be like. That's hilarious. <laughs>